Radio Gang Gang in the building. I am C the Spiritual Goddess here for your Leo monthly forecast. Yes. <laughs> Leave me a Leo emoji if you are a fellow Leo checking this out. Yes. <laughs> so we are, you know, July, half of July is Leo season. My birthday is July 25th. So, you know, I'm representing the Leos all the way through <laughs> here on YouTube. <laughs> So today we are going to be asking spirit what do we have to look forward to what messages do they have for us for the month of July this is your July forecast don't forget if you do want to book a more personal reading with me you can do so at see the spiritual goddess.com all the information will be below I am having a huge sale right now so check that out so without further ado let's go ahead and see what cards we have a man holding a heart in reverse a woman holding a heart in reverse okay Ooh. is some of y'all going through a breakup what's going on leo what's going on is there a separation and then a storm warning in reverse okay for some of you this could be a love reading so i see for some of you there may be some separation going on for some of you you could be going through a breakup in the month of july maybe you find yourself separating by doing so i do feel like it may be one of those things where even though this may be a tough separation and it may not, it may be unexpected for some of you i am picking up though this is what's needed to avoid a bigger disaster for some of you now for the other half of you maybe you are this divine masculine or this divine feminine energy and spirit is warning you you know to just be careful on this energy that you may meet me i feel like for some of you this is spirit telling you to just be mindful because i feel like you may have someone come to you uh, that may want to offer you something out of quote unquote love out of who they say with a good heart but spirit is saying by you actually listening to your intuition and avoiding getting tangled up with this person or with this you would avoid a storm maybe you too, maybe you may find yourself falling out with people you may be getting out of a storm maybe this is also for a small group of you if you are in a relationship and you are these these this group maybe you're getting you're finally getting out of your storm you're finally passing through this tough time and there's some lessons that spirit wants you to pay attention to so i want to get some more clarity let's get some more clarity on these cards here let's ask spirit to give us clarity on this man this woman here what does spirit want to tell us one card Ooh, that came out. <laughs> okay, so, whew. so this is for a select group of you. We got the fourth chakra, which is the heart chakra in reverse. Okay, so this specific message is for a, a small group of you. Your heart's been so closed for a, for a long time. It's like you know you may have been jaded by people who have done you wrong or not have the best intentions and what spirit is, is saying is it's made you jaded it's made your heart close off and you're doing this to avoid the storm to protect yourself that's what i'm getting but spirit is saying by you doing this you're causing yourself to look deceitful maybe to to those that does come with the love that may not be in that that type of realm if you've been trying to attract love spirit is saying by you keeping your heart closed off you may be actually doing the opposite spirit is telling you it's time for you to open up your heart it's time for you to open up that heart chakra this is my heart chakra bell my my archangel Raphael, i love this one here but spirit is telling you it's time for you to open up that if that sound did something to you maybe for a lot of you this is spirit saying it's time for you to raise your heart chakra raise that vibration i would definitely suggest for a lot of you working on heart chakra 
getting some rose quartz that's very uh, very good for heart chakra let me know in the comments below if you want to talk about opening up your heart heart chakra opening up yourself to love because spirit is definitely saying for a lot of my leos this is what you need to work on in july okay so let's go ahead and see what's coming towards you for the month of july let's take a look and see what's coming towards you what's coming towards my leos so I hope you guys join me for my live streams. I will be announcing on my Instagram when I will be bringing those back. So make sure you guys follow me there. Also, guys, tell me there what you think about my readings, what you think about this reading. I'm curious to hear from my Leos there. All right. So balance. Okay. So Spirit is telling us we definitely need to find balance, balance our heart. Also, balance balance what i don't know why i'm getting this but spirit is saying balance what is actually anxiety and what's actually like you know if you get those vibes that maybe people are doing you wrong or spirit is saying decipher what that is is that actually those bad vibes you're feeling or is that your defense mechanism that's up but i do feel like in july you're going to find balance Spirit is going to bring you that so you can know the difference of. For a lot of you, I do feel like in July, you may find yourself having less anxiety. Okay. Suffering in silence. So how I'm picking up for this, I look at this as my travel card. So a lot of you, you're no longer are going to be suffering in silence. You're going to be moving forward past this. Spirit is telling me that for a lot of you you may have felt shut out you may have been if not held back spirit is saying you may that that part of you that wants to explore yourself that part of you that creative part of that leo energy that sun energy may have felt overshadowed and you were suffering in silence. But I feel like what Spirit is saying is that you're going to be breaking free from that. You're going to be moving, moving forward from that. You're going to be mo moving towards the sun, towards your true self is what I'm saying. And then prosperity begins. So that's beautiful. A lot of you, this is going to be a very lucrative month for you. The seeds you're planting this month is going to grow for you. For a lot of you, I feel like when you learn to open up your heart, the more you be open to the positivity that's coming in, I feel like you may even find yourself having a partnership. But I do feel like this is the definitely the time for you, Leo, to not only exercise that throat chakra, but, but also communicate what's in your heart. Communicate from the heart. I feel like a lot of that disruption, a lot of that negative energy... A lot of those feelings can't be healed until you speak out is what Spirit is saying. So let's go ahead and get into our affirmations, Leo. Well, let's see what is the your July affirmation, okay? So go ahead and close your eyes for a second and we're going to ask Spirit what is the affirmation that we want to affirm this month make sure afterwards you leave it in the comments okay all right spirit okay Ooh. affirmation that we have is i forgive myself for i am human you're only human leo sometimes you're going to get it right sometimes you're not but it doesn't help you to really be hard on yourself forgive yourself Open up your hearts and learn to let go with love. This was a very, very good reading. Make sure you affirm this affirmation in the comments below, Leo. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Also, make sure once again you follow me on IG so you can have your notifications on when I will be going live. Turn that bell button too on too. <laughs> so until then, all my gods and goddesses, don't forget to always rock your crown. See you in the next video. Peace.